between the 1930s and the 1970s, um, a series of expeditions were run from the University of Adelaide across Australia, collecting as much information as possible about Aboriginal people who at the time were thought to be disappearing as their culture was being disintegrated by the European uh, colonisation. And so they were led uh, in particular by Norman Tyndale from uh, Adelaide and Joseph Birdsell from uh, Harvard. And they went on camelback originally, eventually, eventually on Land Rovers, all across Australia, collecting genealogical information, language, um, song lines, art, Everything that people were willing to pass on was recorded, including video and sound recordings, which, if you can imagine, from the back of a camel, was quite, quite an achievement. And amongst the enormous amounts of data that was collected for each individual, they also asked for small clippings of hair. And those turn out to be a remarkable treasure trove of genetic information. And this collection is unique in the world in having the history of Australia wrapped up in it. I was eight, you know, I was about eight then, and so I was, uh, wasn't very old to remember a lot of stuff. And I was on Point Pierce, and I was going to school there, and uh, I was one of the Grewer uh, students, and we called ourselves Grewer's Doers. <laughs> so it was a, we all came from the school, you know, the, the ones that got measured. Yeah, so I suppose some would refuse to go, I suppose, uh, just remember. See, I remember, just remember the uncle going and me, and that was all. You know, you remember them with their white coats and you know, all their instruments, and he measured my arms and they put calibre across my head, and uh, then he snipped my hair, and then he said to me, "What colour hair you got, son?" I said, "Brown." He said, "Here, have a look," and it was black. And I think he thought I was an idiot, but so I've had every colour hair, which he wouldn't have known that because I was born with golden blonde hair, then I went mousy brown, light brown, dark brown, black. So. I'm very pleased about how the project has turned out because I think Tyndale, when he was collecting this information, really wanted to get at these questions. He made the first really detailed map of different Aboriginal territories and was very interested in their history. And I think if he'd known that those hair collections turned out to be probably the only way we can reconstruct Australia's history, he would be immensely pleased that those expeditions led to this point.